Good morning. Um, fresh out of the shower. You don't often get the cleanest version of me. Um, I am thrilled today to share this lovely comedy with you. Um, it's called The Biggest Idea in the World and it's by David Joland. And um, I like it for many reasons. Um, I, I like it because I didn't like the main character um, for quite a while, actually. Um, almost until the end, I, I, I didn't... Um, warm to him he, he's quite unpleasant in lots of ways um but it's such a clever story and and you hear the story that the the main thrust of the book is an interview um between this reasonably unlikable guy um and this young uh, journalist student who's who's kind of uninterested because this guy um to tell the story just takes him so long you kind of think there's nothing going to happen at the end, you know, that it's a story about nothing, or it's a story about failure, it is the the idea. Um, and actually, it's incredibly clever how the tale is mapped out and how we go back and forth, present day back, present day back, and we inch through, a bit painfully, we inch through um, to this climactic ending where we find out the, you know the the reality what actually happened um and it it's hilarious i mean it's hilarious all the way through in a, in a really warm and and delightful way that that I, I wonder if it's a british thing that we, that we can laugh at misfortune and we can laugh at, at someone who um is so down on their luck um but so positive and so you know keeps trying and keeps trying um it's lovely i'm i'm not going to spoil the ending but it, it, it's just a beautiful thing up to and including the very last page and you need to know all of the little nuances of it um, to really get the maximum delight from the story which is um, wonderful it, it, it's just lovely um, and it's just the idea I think just the concept of you know an average person actually a slightly rubbish average person being able to challenge and and being able to uh, play the big guns at their own game um, is rather wonderful. And it, so it's it, it's hard to describe because it's actually very unusual um, in how it's set. So this interview setting um, and that you get the bits of the story so slowly. I mean, it's actually quite frustrating in parts because this guy just goes, bambles on and on and on. Um, and the guy interviewing him, you know, finds him quite annoying as well. Um, but actually, he's right. All of the little bits are important. They are all building to this ultimate, um, the, they're building to this end that's so, um, so wonderful. And it's a real feel-good book. Um, it's a, a book I would recommend. It's a, It's just a very funny and lovable and um entertaining but intelligent um and delightful it's just a lovely lovely story a lovely tale um a, a lovely tale and and although i didn't like um i didn't really like the main character um initially you you just slowly fall in love with him you can't help yourself he's he's such a hapless kind of guy um, although, of course, um, it turns out not an idiot at all, but an extraordinarily um, clever or astute, maybe, um, man in this very one um, specific way. And he's called Barry. I mean, it, what's not to love? Um, it's just uh, unusual. And, and I like that. You know, it's nice sometimes to pick up something that's a bit different. Um, and I really, really think you will enjoy it. It's it's fantastic read.